Hey sis. Hey sis, and welcome to another episode of Hey Sis with my sister's keeper on Radio Christian Voice. My name is Chanda and I have Sanili. And Shekinah in the building. We're from My Sister's Keeper, a young women's Christian fellowship. We gather together in faith, love, and works um, in pursuit of Jesus, our guy. Um, so we're here today to discuss a very relevant topic. Um, they will definitely be shots fired, be yeah. warned. Um, and most yeah. likely the shots will be in this direction. Um, <laughs> in one. <laughs> but I'll let Shekinah introduce the topic for us. Okay, so our topic for today is cloud chasing, abusing the gospel, and zeal. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah. Before we get into it, I think we should um, pray as is our custom. Mm -hmm. Sunani, will you bless us with that lovely engagement ring on you? (laughs) (laughs) Let us pray. Our Lord and kind Father, Father of love, Father of mercy, we're so grateful and thankful for this wonderful opportunity that we have today to praise your name and to glorify you and to speak um, to the saints and to us as well. Heavenly Father, we pray that all that we're going to talk about, Heavenly Father, will be uh, profitable to our spirit, that we may be able to walk in accordance with your word, that we may walk in righteousness, in truthfulness, and in honesty in everything that we do. To you be the glory now and forever. May we pray even for those that are listening on the other side, that their spirits are going to be recipient to the leading of the Holy Spirit, that even as we speak, may words of wisdom, knowledge, and uh, correction be in them, and then may they act on it. They should not just hear it, but do it as well. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Thanks in our hearts. Amen. 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 Beautiful prayer. Thank you so much, Sunini. So, um, we're dealing with cloud chasing, zeal, and, and what was the last? Abusing the gospel. Yes. Um, but before we we get into all the other bits, I think it would be nice for us to discuss, um, to describe actually mm. clout mm. and what clout chasing is. Do you have it ready for us? Yeah. Okay. So the so Google's definition is um, influence or power, especially in politics or business. Mm. And then if we look at it from the urban dictionary aspect, it yeah. says clout is being famous or having influence. Mm. Mm. Okay. Um, but what is cloud chasing? Mm. So we know what cloud is. What is cloud chasing? Okay. So cloud chasing or a cloud chaser <laughs> is a person who attempts to gain political or social power and influence, especially through association mm. or mm. conflict mm. with public figures mm. oh. controversy okay. stirring up controversy okay, okay. that's interesting mm-hmm. so it was political influence mm-hmm. social influence what was the other one uh, political social yeah. and what political social yeah okay political and social influence okay cool so that's clout that's mm-hmm. clout chasing yeah. um can we say that that sort of behavior exists in our environment have we seen <laughs> This is almost a rhetorical mm-hmm. question. I'll be honest. <laughs> so Nanny's yeah. like, girl, really? <laughs> really? <laughs> Are you for real? <laughs> Are you for real? For real? <laughs> no, okay. <laughs> Just for for formality's sake, mm-hmm. have we seen this behavior? <laughs> <laughs> we are still seeing. We are still seeing. <laughs> and so so this is definitely something that we're seeing in today's age. Mm-hmm. I think cloud chasing has existed from the beginning of time, really. Yeah. Um, but I think it's more amplified now yeah. because influence is easier to access yes. Um, yes. and has been made easy to access by yeah. the dawn of yeah. the internet, yeah. right? We literally have like a subgroup of the human species who we call influencers, yeah. um, who are literally, like their job is to influence yeah. and they aspire to do it and do it to the best of their abilities as extensively as they can for good and for bad. Yeah. Um, so we're living in the influencer age Mm -hmm. and um, digital platforms have made it easier to access influence and therefore cloud chasing has become a bit of an epidemic (laughs) Um, um, what are some of the effects that you guys think cloud chasing is having on on our so we've seen it in our environment we know it's there Mm -hmm. um, so much so that you know, Sanini kind of felt like it was like, why are you asking this question? Can we just like talk about why this thing is happening and how it's affecting us? But like um yeah, so we've seen it in our environment. How can we say it's affecting the environment? Yeah. Um, yeah. So, and also, I think from the perspective of 
but we can talk generally, but also from the perspective of believers. Yeah. Oh <laughs> yeah. 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 Okay. Mm. So I think um, it's reducing uh, authenticity mm. of presence. Mm. So you find this person uh, on social media is like, hey, how are you doing? What? Mm. In person, they hate people. They, they don't mm. even want to talk to people. Mm. So it's bringing, it's bringing a, an authenticity problem. Mm. And it's mm. also mm. bringing like a mimicking type of thing. Mm. So you want to be like someone else so that you can be liked or, or, yeah. or whatever it is so the authenticity authenticity, authenticity. <laughs> is dying yeah, yeah. So, no it's not right crazy yeah that's mm-hmm. so true and i think linked to the authenticity yeah. issue is identity mm-hmm. yeah. but before i get into that i can i can see that sonini has like Please. she's like oh, this give us. she's giving us the you know yeah. Let me let me come out here. So, <laughs> Ashley, kind of like speaking the yeah. scope of identity, that yeah. took me to a place where there are superficial relationships. That yeah. I mean, you know, whereby wow. something is happening and somehow I'm also your friend or your sister. Yeah. But it's safe. Yeah. Because it's just me. Uh, yeah. Cloud. Yeah, yeah. 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 I just want to associate yeah. with you. With you because um, I'm the same. Yes. You know, exactly. Yeah. So there's, there's no genuine relationship. Yeah. Actually. And nothing wrong with social ambition, mm. right? Um, I think it's smart. Like the Bible tells us to be smart about who we associate with it's wise for you to associate people who you can like grow with Mm -hmm. and learn Mm -hmm. from at a spiritual level or you know just like build healthy um Mm -hmm. friendships with that will benefit you in the future Mm -hmm. it's healthy Mm -hmm. to be intentional about um how you socialize and who you socialize with but there's a there's a difference between that Mm -hmm. and being fake and superficial like Mm -hmm. you're saying um but i was i was talking about identity i think also linked to this is like a generational crisis of identity Mm, because um, people are actively attempting to influence you for um, money, essentially, because that's the influencer business model. They influence you to do a thing or purchase a thing or buy into a lifestyle. And then therefore they get endorsements from brands and companies that align with that and they get paid. Mm -hmm. So there are people who are actively trying to influence you for commercial benefit. And so they'll, um, they'll 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 market a lifestyle a culture that may not be the most valuable yes. thing for your development um, but because you are an influenceable individual like you're impressionable as a human being if you're overexposed they will have an effect and so yeah. I think people are in a crisis yeah. people kind of yeah. don't really know who they are and oh, I would yeah. say that's one of the major yeah. effects mm-hmm. that clout chasing is having on our environment the people yeah. who are clout chasing mm-hmm. and want influence at any yeah. cost are sometimes as a byproduct of their clout chasing causing confusion in their environment when they are successful because they're influencing people in all sorts of directions in order to cut a check. But also the people who are being influenced um, are also struggling um, because they see this lifestyle, they see this person who's aspired to be an influencer and is supposedly successful and they think, okay, so that's the way to do it. Mm. While also having a lifestyle marketed to you, you're now also having a um, format of success being marketed to you that may not be the entire truth. Love Nara Smith and like <laughs> the vibes, like right? This. I love the vibes. <laughs> yeah. Um, but also Nara Smith markets uh, an unrealistic lifestyle, mm-hmm. right? She's become the poster child for like, if you have like trad wife aspirations, but also want to be wildly successful, yeah. just like go into your kitchen and like cook everything from scratch and somehow life will just, you know, life will just work out. Yeah. Um, but that's not the case. And um, sometimes I think, because of those things, people are approaching life and work and living in a naive way. Um, You think that um, Nara Smith and what she's presenting on TikTok is the way to a successful life, negating the fact that Nara Smith works super hard. There's a huge marketing team behind her. Um, uh, To get those recipes right, there there are probably several tries she had. But because you're not being told the full story, as a person who's now being affected by clout chasing, but now also chasing clout mm. because you want to be like Nara Smith, yeah. um, you're approaching life from a very unrealistic place mm. with unrealistic tools and resources. Um, yeah. So yeah, I think yeah. that that's one of the major, major ways. Is there anything else you guys can think of that's like um, <clears throat> allowing clout chasing to affect our environment in a poor or bad way? Um, 
one of the things that comes to mind is also it compromises your morals. Mm. Oh, yes. Yeah. 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 Because then yeah. when something is happening and then they throw something at you, you also want to reiterate. Yeah. And hence the cloud is within. And we're like, okay, no, let's yeah. continue this whole back and forth. Yeah. yeah. And that yeah. also compromises your moral standards. If yeah. You yeah. Ooh, that, that's very actually very, very powerful. Yeah. Because um, I think that more and more we're seeing people being willing to do anything for cloud. Yeah. Um, well, oh, what do you? What would you say is at the heart of desiring clout so much that you're willing to do whatever? Validation. Validation. Yes, that's what it is. Yeah, we're an ego crazed yes. generation. Yeah. Like likes and followers have distorted our view of affirmation exactly. and validation yeah. and feeling empowered as a person and valuable. Yeah. So I think now we're looking for that times 10. Mm -hmm. um, we're in overdrive and we're looking for affirmation from strangers yeah. and we'll do whatever we can to get it. Yeah. There is something addictive about, I'm sure you guys have had the experience. You just see like a notification, yeah. shan shan yunko, people likes. Yeah. You even go back and check the post. You go back oh. and check your status. <laughs> who viewed? Okay, okay, so you, ooh, ooh. Yeah. you're watching me yeah. you like <laughs> you, you yeah. know so um there is there is a real effect it has yeah. on the human mind mm -hmm. to receive affirmation and i think there's like a godly place for it there's a purified place for it yeah. but in the way it's being done now this microwave um affirmation mm -hmm. these quick fixes yeah. are really distorting our view of value and how you value yeah. yourself and how you seek that value from others yeah. So I asked the question earlier about we know we now know that um, we, we've established that our environment is being affected by cloud chasing. Mm -hmm. Cloud chasing is the thing. Um, do we see this happening in the body? And if yeah. we do, um, what are some of ex some of the examples we may have of people cloud chasing in? The body of Christ. <laughs> no, 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 yeah. I was doing saying she kind of really excited about this. She's like, yes, I want to hear you. Oh, no, she kind of said, so she kind of, you were the one who said, yes. I'm just like, I'm just, please. <laughs> I'm enjoying this. Take yeah. us through the road. Guys. Mm. <laughs> you have been volunteered as tribute, she kind of. <laughs> It's a way to use them out. Yes. With so much zeal and power. Yeah. Okay. Mm. So I, I don't know how to put this. Yeah. Right? Yeah. But um, there's this when in the beginning when I talked about authenticity, right? Yeah. In the body of Christ, mm -hmm. we all have different um expressions yeah. of uh, how God speaks to us or how we feel about um, the love and mm. the power of God in our lives. Mm. So let's say um, Soneni mm -hmm. has a has a you know she her personality isn't very big. I'm just saying let's say because in real life it actually it actually is. is. <laughs> Wait, yeah, she's so, a very bubbly, <laughs> happy, yeah. present personality. Exactly. <laughs> then I am uh, a person who's very much bubbly and mm. you know loud about it. Yeah. The other person, or rather, Sonini, mm. would want to, um, would think, and you know, that's why that Bible verse that talks about uh, each part of the of the body having something to contribute and whatnot. Mm -hmm. Other people think because they're not as vocal as another person, yeah, they are not influential and they're not, right. um, you know, mm. important in mm. this life. Yeah. So what they do is they try to get the zeal of another person mm. and kind of mimic it, and yeah. you know, it obviously attracts uh, other people, yeah, and and whatnot. So. Yeah. It's there in the body of Christ yeah. where someone is just mimicking what they are seeing either from a, a preacher or a yeah. pastor in Nigeria. Yeah. And they are coming. Yeah. They're like, hey, shan, 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 yeah. shan. and it's like, you're able to see that, mm, yeah, but the problem happened. Mm. So I think that's what I would say. So you're saying like pretentiousness. Yes, exactly. Um, and undermining perhaps the individual and unique grace that's on your life. Yes. To mimic somebody else because you think that that's the vehicle that will get you quickest to influence. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, connected to that, I would say also um, diluting the gospel mm -hmm. for the sake of mass 
acceptance yeah. or uh, making it more palatable for more people mm -hmm. to be able to engage with mm -hmm. and easily enjoy. Yeah. Um, so making the gospel gimmicky and a bag of tricks, yeah. diluting the truth, the power, and resisting things like correction because there's a balance. The Bible um, is layered and and rich with encouragement affirmation beautiful words that uplift you but it's also talking uh, very much about throughout from cover to cover mm -hmm. it's also talking very much about judgment it's also talking about correction it's also talking about right from wrong sin right so mm -hmm. i think sometimes in the body people may resist presenting the gospel in an authentic manner and will cook it and dress it up and make it a caricature you know clown the gospel out for the sake of clout so yeah. that they can be easily accepted and yeah. that's not the model of jesus mm -hmm. jesus was not a clout chaser yeah. but like the influence yeah, followed him five thousand four thousand yeah. He went from talking to small groups like 12 mm -hmm. to 4,000 in one afternoon. Um, but it wasn't because um, he had some trick or some gimmick. He had a bunch of props on stage. It's because he had a true message that people needed to hear. Yeah. Further, Jesus was also very comfortable with saying uncomfortable truths. Oh, yeah. Right? He was very, very clear about the truth of the gospel. He um, flavored it with love, empathy, understanding, and hope. But he was true to the yeah. gospel. Yeah. That is the model that we have been left behind. Yeah. And then also, in addition to that, I think think um, that sometimes in the body it shows up as um, chasing platform mm. sometimes prematurely right there's nothing wrong like I just said Jesus went from speaking to 12 to 4,000 yeah. um, and he would do that very well Jesus understood the value of sowing a seed in many individuals who can then potentially go out and affect their environments but he also understand the importance of speaking to 12 to few yeah. discipling um, a building a, a momentum rhythm things like that um, so I think sometimes people will prematurely chase platform um, out of clouds chasing because they want influence, yeah. they want affirmation, they want to be celebrated. And usually what's driving that is ego yeah. and pride. Yeah. There's nothing wrong, like I said, with desiring platform. It's effective. That's why we're here talking yeah. like this. Because we could go and talk, have this conversation with just us and it could edify us. But if it could edify a few more people on the airwaves or on like a YouTube mm -hmm. uh, video, wonderful. Great. We know that it's effective. We know that it's useful. But why? What's the reason? I think that's the key. So yeah, chasing platform, I think, as mm -hmm. well. Just for the sake of platform. Because yeah. you just want to be the center no. of, of attention. Sure. You know? Um, yeah. yeah. What else can you think of, Sunini? <laughs> I can see you like... <laughs> Cooking. <laughs> like I'm just having a video in my head. Yeah. And I'm just playing it in real time. Yeah. Okay. Just. Yeah. So, <laughs> she kind of was speaking about mimicking another person's uh, identity. Yeah. It brought me to a place where a number of people in the faith. Yeah. Have have this thing where they they have like a spiritual authority or I don't know a spiritual father or yeah. a mentor. Yeah. And then they want to dress up, dress like them, yeah. do everything like them. Yeah. Literally starting to make me. me Mimic. Mimic. Mimic yeah. their, their voice. Yeah. Like, hallelujah. Yeah. Like, hallelujah. Yeah. And that also, in a way, is like you want to, in a sense, it's, I don't know whether it's okay, but it's definitely there's, not there's, there's okay. A, there's, a, there's a place. You know, mm -hmm. like, um, and I, I hear you what you're saying, because that's like a real thing. And yeah, she yeah, kind of touched on that. Yeah. But just to like um, support you, I think that because you, you're kind of like, is there, is there, and I know you're, you're being, I know I am being careful and it's yeah. wise. Um, but you know, like how Paul and Timothy, Timothy was, and this is where spiritual sonship, the concept really comes from. But I think we can originate it. I think more, more so it originates from Christ mm -hmm. and the disciples and then further God the Father. But like, you can see that Timothy's writing mm -hmm. kind of sounds like a little Paul, yes. you know, um, but that's, that's not an issue. But also at the same time, you can hear Timothy's own identity and character yes, coming out. So it's not an issue of like, mimicking mm -hmm. not having an identity mm -hmm. but it's more that this is the the school yeah. i went through mm -hmm. and so the style um, has influenced me mm -hmm. naturally but i'm still expressing it through my unique identity but yeah, yeah. there's the spaces where it can happen naturally mm -hmm. and it's okay but there are those extreme places you're talking yeah, about the where now you think that if you don't have <laughs> the spirit won't yes. move yeah. you know or if you're not jerry curl you yeah. know i don't you know <laughs> then you're not flowing but yeah but also yeah I, I, i've noticed that also comes out in a place where 
in 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 a way you want to be that person mm. because they have this huge cloud or huge following mm. and that brings to the place where you were talking about where the be platform, that person the platform mm. is okay yeah. yeah there's benefits to having that platform yeah but wanting that for the purpose of being acknowledged yeah validated, simply yeah Yeah. Yeah, that just Yeah. I ever uh Chanda and Sonini, I think some of the things you guys are pointing yeah. to is pride. Mm-hmm. And at the fellowship where I'm at at, at my particular university, we're talking about uh pride. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And the person leading, uh shout out to you, yeah. Andy. Yeah. <laughs> was saying the only way mm. to fall is to be on top. Ooh. So if you are on top, you will fall. And mm. part of you wanting to be on top is mm. you being recognized by other people. Mm. But if you are down, the, mm. the highest place is at the lowest place, mm. is at the feet of God. Mm. So if yeah, mm. so if you go mm. forward pursuing, Ooh, that's powerful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you go forward pursuing a place where you want to be recognized by people, yeah, wanting to have influence for the wrong reasons, reasons mm. you will fall. Yeah. And when you fall, yeah, you will fall Which publicly. Yeah, because yes. you want to be recognized. What? Yeah, publicly. publicly. Mm. I just exactly. want to say that because Thank you, you so guys much. brought out. That's powerful. powerful and I think also linked to that is yeah. you need to heal your view of success yeah. and being in a place of real power and strength. The place of real success and power and strength. There's actually a proverb that says something to the effect of like, if I, if I don't do a good job yeah. at honoring God and obeying him, I'm a failure in life. Yeah. Like that's, you have failed completely in life. You have failed so much, you have failed into eternity. Yeah. It's not just on this side. Yeah. You failed everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> But pro max failure. Yeah. Okay, so... Um, Um, success, right? Healing your view of success and healing your view of like, I like self actualization yeah. will also help guide you. Yeah. Um, pride is rooted a lot in deception. Yeah. It's rooted in a fractured view of self and insecurity. Yeah. True confidence is about oh, I'm small, mm. but I can grow, yeah. and also knowing where you can grow. And the best place to grow is at the feet yeah. of Jesus, yeah. right? So um, at that place. That's where success starts yeah. and that's where it's completed and that's where it ends. Yeah. And when you can understand that, you're less disturbed and easily triggered and moved yeah. by small things like this. You're happy to give somebody else chance. You're happy to usher someone else into the center. Yeah. You're happy to not be in the center or yeah. be whatever, you know. Um, yeah, and it's so liberating. Yeah. I personally can like yeah. attest to experiencing moments like that yeah. where um, you might even want a thing. Like you, you want yeah. it and it's like, I want it. I worked hard for it. I deserve it. But you can see that somebody else wants it too yeah. and you can identify that it will help them. Yeah. And you're like, mm, yeah, I can afford. I can afford. Yeah. I can afford to like give this to my friend and yeah. have them heal and have this. I'll have it yeah. later. That freedom allows you to love properly yeah. without interruption, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. And pride and ego gets in the way of that. Um, cloud does. chasing gets it in the does. way of that. Now you're no longer gathering people so that you can bless them. You're gathering people for numbers. It's yeah. just about numbers. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I, I, we can also speak to this like with our community. Mm. We've um we've had to manage like how we're adding people, for example, to the network group because we really wanted to create an environment of like actual community. This is not just about numbers or whatever. It's about building bonds and growing together, getting to know people. Yeah. What are their challenges? Okay, we've identified that one. Okay, when we have a chance and an opening, let's give her a chance. We know she's shy, yeah. but she wants to say something. Let's give her a yeah. chance to share a devotional. Mm-hmm. But you can't do that unless you're looking into people's eyes, unless you're speaking to them, unless you're getting to know them. Yeah. And that's the gospel. Yeah, you yeah, know yeah. um but yeah uh cloud chasing gets in the way of that wow sonny do you have something <laughs> i feel like um you might have something to say do you <laughs> it's just the lord reminding me yeah. of the scripture that talks about um he will lift up the humble oh yes and then he will what the pride again yeah he will he will basically bring down the prideful yeah, yeah. Bring down the prideful yeah and it's also important in this life resist is the word but essentially bring down yeah yeah when you talked about identifying exactly what success is 
we ought to be at a place where we know and understand what it really means to be successful. Mm-hmm. Success is not about the cloud. Success yeah. is about really attaining the very purpose that God created you for. Amen. Mm. Amen. 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 That's powerful. Um, okay, so we've, we've touched a little bit on that. Um, how does one differentiate between zeal and cloud chasing, right? Because someone might just mm. be zealous yeah. um, and really want to do the most for the Lord. Mm. And it may be um, misunderstood yeah. and viewed as cloud chasing. So how can one identify the difference between zeal and cloud chasing? Quick. Yeah, so yeah. Uh, for me, the scripture um, of you shall know them by their fruits. Amen. Is what Why comes up in my mind. <laughs> Oneness, <laughs> one mind, one Holy Spirit, Why? one Spirit, one Word. Yeah. So, Amen. Um, the scripture uh, that talks about you shall know them by their fruits yeah. is what really comes up mm. for me. It's about character. Yeah. Um, mm. Yes, someone can be overzealous, but. Like Chanda said, if they see an opportunity for another person to grow mm. and they choose to withhold it, mm. uh, that's not being overzealous mm. for God. Mm. That's you trying to use the platform yeah. to amplify whatever you think you yeah. have within yourself. Yeah. So that's how you differentiate yeah. um, zeal from, from, cloud from cloud chasing. I think intention as well is a key key one also. Um, is your intention to bless others yeah. or is your intention to become famous? Mm. Yeah. Clear and simple. Period. I is I like is are you at the center? Or is mm. God at the center? Yeah. Yeah. Are you the idol in the middle? Mm. Or is God the God in the middle? Yeah. You know? Yeah. What is the intention behind it? What yeah. are you trying to achieve? Are you just trying to be celebrated for your skills, your talents, yeah. your what? Yeah. Or are you trying to filter those things through Jesus yeah. and allow him room to shine yeah. while you are like, you know. The, the supporting act mm-hmm. on the side. Yeah. <laughs> you may get like a little sprinkle of razzle dazz, <laughs> but like he's at the center. <laughs> Not that woman, but <laughs> but, like, <laughs> but you know, yeah. Um, you know, some sprinkle of razzle dazz, some yeah. little glory that trickles down to you, but like he's at the scent. Yeah. Um, so I think that's the that's the way quick way to differentiate for me. Because you talked about the day, right? Yeah. Mm. Fruits. We shall know them by their fruits. Mm. Yeah. For me, it's incons- inco- inco- inconsistencies. Yeah. Please. Yeah, that's Thank you. Inconsistencies. Inconsistency. Wow. Yeah. 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 That is sin because mm. tomorrow you'll be this, the other mm-hmm. day you'll be that. So it is. Are just you the like same out. every way? Yeah. 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 The one on the platform, the one on yeah. the air. Yeah. Me, I can say, come find me. Yeah. Catch me outside. Come I'm on. the same person <laughs> here. <laughs> <laughs> by the grace of God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, yeah, yeah really exactly. Like, uh, in, if you meet me in the supermarket, are you going to meet me in this bubbly? Yeah. Oh, am I going to be hey, Don't talk to me. Yeah. <laughs> Precisely. <laughs> Precisely. Um, do we think that sometimes? Um, so we've, we've talked about zeal and yeah. uh, cloud chasing, how sometimes they can be mistaken for the other. Yeah. But we also think that sometimes um, some people's personalities yeah. can be mistaken for like a cloud chaser. Yeah. Um, but this is just like you're yeah. very bubbly, like mm-hmm. you. Yes. Some, you know, you laugh yes. and yeah. and you laugh to make people comfortable. You laugh because you're just a joyous yeah. person. You laugh out of strength. Yeah. Um, you laugh because you enjoy laughing. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. And someone may think, ah, you know, yeah. someone may misread that as this or that. Um, yeah. Someone may misread someone who's like very hyper mm-hmm. and very active and quick to do a thing as yeah. like Abana, well, you're doing yeah. too much. But it's just. That's yeah. your personality. So yeah. um, what are some of the small things that sometimes can be misread as cloud chasing? But it's just someone's yeah. personality. I think just back to what we said, if yeah. you love God, mm. no, I need to pause. Yeah. If you love God, yeah. why should you keep your excitement mm. or however you feel within yourself yeah. because mm. they're scared that mm. other people will say this, mm. that. You know, when you love God, you want to grow. Yeah. Okay. And what mm. does growth entail? That you push out of many mm. comfort zones. Mm. So I, I feel like... I, no, I don't know. Because sometimes yeah. we hold people back. Yeah. We accuse people of cloud chasing. But yes. someone is just really trying to press against their comfort yes. zone for God's glory. And who are you to get in the way of that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. God. So really, it's just the love of God, yeah. which is you know being brought out mm-hmm. through how they behave, mm-hmm. how they talk, how they show up. Mm-hmm. There are people in the body of Christ. You are at church very early. 
you are the last one to leave church. Oh, wow. During that time period, you're just so hyper. Mm. And people are agitated at the fact that you are mm. showing your love for mm. God. You're showing your commitment like mm. that. No, you need to, you mm. know, you need to repent. Yeah, sometimes it's that people are being confronted yeah. with mm. um, their own lackluster mm, approach yes. to the gospel. Exactly. So they don't like seeing someone present Mm -hmm. like live it out especially if it's somebody who has similar challenges to them it provokes them and makes them uncomfortable and sometimes they can project that insecurity and we understand right like it's an issue of unpacking identifying the issue but when you know Mm -hmm. that this is why you're doing the thing make an effort to change your behavior Mm -hmm. so that you don't discourage a thing that someone uh, that god is doing in someone's life because you really don't want to become god's enemy and start resisting the lord without knowing Mm -hmm. um that's the worst Mm -hmm. place to find yourself in um so cool um we have a sense of sometimes how people will misunderstand zeal yeah. and pers- person- personalities and strong personas mm-hmm. as clout chasing or clout chasers um why do people fall into clout chasing mm-hmm. i think we touched on it a little yeah, bit but is it really is there anything that you want to add to that you know mm-hmm. validation seeking affirmation is there any other reason i think money just Insecurity, like desire yeah. for money Insecurities, you know insecurities yeah, as yeah. well um greed mm-hmm. you just want you know that you know with clout comes influence yeah. network you want money mm-hmm. yeah. um is there anything else even ignorance Sometimes ignorance you can yeah go into clutches in without you knowing without you without knowing. You fully knowing yeah yes. and i think that's why it's really important to self introspect exactly. at the heart of all of this is self awareness yeah. does the bible say anything so we've talked about self awareness mm-hmm. how you can search and find um yeah. if you if you look within yourself and have the wisdom mm-hmm. to yeah. understand your own behavior but does the bible say anything about cloud chasing yes. and cloud chasers yes Mm-hmm. Apart from our Give heavenly us. father, yes. Jesus Christ, mm. who was a very anti cloud chasing yeah. yeah. activist, yeah. 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 yeah, there was also Paul. Mm. Um, yes, Galatians. that's literally what I was gonna go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, Galatians 1 verse 10 yeah. says, Am I now trying to win the approval of human beings mm. or of God? Or am I trying to please people? Mm. If Ooh. I w- yeah. Okay, so <laughs> <Dang> it. <laughs> if I was still trying to please people, I would not be a servant of Christ. Mm, mm, so mm. yeah. This scripture just basically talks about God being the center of every single thing mm-hmm. that we're doing. Mm-hmm. And that human beings at the end of the day, they do not matter. Mm-hmm. They do not matter. Because at the end of the day, we are going to, or at the end of this life, rather, mm-hmm. we are going to stand before God. We're not going to stand before our followers. Yeah. Yeah. We're not going to stand before the people who lead us in yeah. church. Yeah. We're not going to stand with anything yeah. apart from mm-hmm. God who's going to um, mm-hmm. judge us. Mm. so this scripture basically points to that and saying if you are not if if he wanted to please people he wouldn't be a servant of god no because the whole purpose of being a servant of god is to submit prioritize to god. god's exactly. will and way and his approval yes. right um and that's really powerful yeah. um i was gonna go there and there's so many other scriptures in the new testament and particularly paul's epistles and mm. his letters to the churches um where he talks about this yeah. he admonishes peter even for example for seeking approval when yeah. peter falls unfortunately into hypocrisy and we can say it's a type of clout chasing because you're seeking the approval of your fellow jews mm. um and you don't want to let them know that you've been eating with the gentiles <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And the Gentile food. So it's like, hey, I don't know those people. Yeah. So Gentile who, you know? And and Paul is like, my brother, be real, yeah. you know? Be so, yes, be straight. <laughs> and so sometimes people can even cloud chase out of um, fear yeah. if we're qualifying cloud chasing as seeking approval yeah. in addition to, to influence and those other things. Or we can say that they're kind of like closely linked cousins. Yeah. Um, so you can sort of start at a place of like maybe even like fear, yeah. fall into hypocrisy, then continually start chasing the approval of others, mm. have a distorted view of the gospel and fully fall into yeah. cloud chasing. Yes. Um, because there's a way that influence makes you feel approved. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, so Paul is very real about this. And there's also there's several other points where he calls out um, false prophets and teachers. Yeah. And he says they're just, you know, they're 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 
they're preaching with their stomachs really mm. they're just hungry they yeah. just want money they and they'll tell you what you want then. i love paul i, I really heaven. love paul um so yeah um and I, I was really thinking about um mm. paul particularly so you've touched on him and that's really wonderful mm. but um i'm also reminded connected to what you shared of um, a bible verse where um, the bible encourages us not to fear men yeah. and i think linked to that is to to sort of healthily diminish the approval of men yeah um in a way we must act in one accord and there's something in there about acknowledging each other yeah. um approving one another in the gospel like yeah. in a holy way but there's a healthy diminishing of the approval of men that's important for your growth mm. if you fixate on the approval of people people are lost yeah. they don't know where they're going yeah. even the ones you think are doing the most they're, they're, they're at the mercy of God. Yeah. They are but babes mm -hmm. in the Father's eyes, right? <laughs> and so you need God. You yeah. need his approval. And if you center his <clears throat> approval, you can easily filter out even when you're receiving distorted views, distorted advice. Um, you can filter out seeking approval yeah. and um, find yourself less likely to fall into a trap. Yeah. Um, yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> I, I can feel you. <laughs> I can feel in you. In my heart, I'm just like, yes. <laughs> okay, so I'm reminded of John the Baptist. Yes. John the Baptist, on, the greatest. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just read it. John yeah. 3, verse 28, I'll just end up to 30, says, yeah. You yourselves bear me witness that I said, mm. I am not the Christ, mm. but I have been sent before him. Mm. He who has the bride mm. is the bridegroom, mm. but the friend of the bridegroom, who stands and oh. hears him, rejoices greatly because of the bridegroom's voice yeah. therefore this joy of mine is fulfilled mm. he must increase but i must decrease amen i earlier spoke about amen. purpose mm. wow. purpose clout. yeah if you don't understand the purpose why you're here mm. you'll be doing all sorts of things mm. john the baptist would have had all the clout because mm. he was well known and mm. he was popular because mm. of the things that he was doing mm. but he said he's just there preparing the way for jesus mm -hmm. so he understood his assignment mm. and his purpose yeah. hence he said he must increase that he i must john decrease. the baptist must, must decrease. decrease wow and if yeah. john was wow because like yeah. i thought if john was a clout chaser yeah, if john because people even were thinking <laughs> yes, that he was the one yes, he'd have been he's like you know what this is kind of you know yeah him and said master yes look at this guy yes over. exactly <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so cloud chasing can interrupt your purpose. Yes. Yeah. It can skew your view of your mm -hmm. own purpose and calling. Mm -hmm. And I think we see that sometimes in the body with if if there's someone who has a calling and genuinely yeah. has a grace for reaching people, yeah. sometimes you might find them um talking about things that just don't even make sense because it's the thing that's trending today. <laughs> Creating stories, falsifying testimonies, <laughs> shanyuko, just for the sake of uh, you know appeasing people and tantalizing mm -hmm. them and getting their attention and being able to influence them. And so now God has given you a real assignment yeah. and in that assignment there's real power but you're over here just you know kafafaling all the way to you know God knows where. Um but yeah that's that's so powerful so any purpose. Um so in closing I just you know I want to I want us to touch a little bit on um how to help those who might be struggling with this. What do you guys think someone who is struggling sincerely, right? They know that um, this is not healthy mm -hmm. and I really shouldn't be pursuing God or the mm -hmm. gospel or serving mm -hmm. or approaching life from this place mm -hmm. because beyond um, the gospel threads through everything, but also in just like um, in different situations like work, mm -hmm. school, you might choose a career for clouds. Yeah. Because you've been told that when you do this, ah, you'll be rich, you'll be mm. famous, or you'll be very influential. Perhaps that's not the plan God has for you. Yeah. Maybe even that kama career path, your sulaling, that's where your glory would have been. You know, that's where you're so it can really interrupt how you hear God, how you approach life, uh, and cause you to make decisions that aren't true to your path and journey. Mm. So how does someone deal with the temptation to cloud chase? Which is very real for everyone. Yeah. Mm. Okay, so I don't know if uh, you you've noticed by my zeal to yeah. talk about this topic. Yeah. We have noticed. <laughs> <laughs> I was once a cloud chaser. Mm. I maybe not per se in the body of Christ. Yeah. Yeah. But before. Yeah. Before I yeah it was there. Yeah. Yeah. Was, thank God for God. <laughs> Amen. Thank God for God. Amen. Yeah, but Amen. Um, I'm at a place now where. Um, 
I'm comfortable in Christ. Mm. I'm comfortable in the person who God has made me to be. Mm. Whether I am quiet, whether yeah. I'm, I'm uh, talking, yeah. whether I'm just chilling. Yeah. I'm comfortable in uh, the person who God has ordained me to be. Yeah. And I think that's where you should be as mm. well. Being comfortable in yeah. um, how God has created you to be. Yes. You know, going at the feet of God, asking mm. him, what do you think about me? Because yeah. like Chanda said, many of these things just came from identity Issues, and yeah. hurt and whatnot. Mm. But when you find yourself in Christ, yeah. when you run after Jesus, you mm. find yourself. Yeah. So that's the advice I would give to anyone mm. who's chasing after clout. Mm. Uh, people yeah. I'm, I'm sorry if i'm taking long oh, no, no, no no it's okay but people will leave you yeah. and it's not even from a point of trying to um like mm. you know create conflict Ooh, or yes. uh, extend hate or, yeah. or whatever there's a point where it's just you and jesus yeah that's why god takes people through seasons of isolation and whatnot and if you base your whole life and existence on what people think or say about you, mm, you're lost. You will crumble. Yeah. That's that's just how our uh, life is. So yeah. find yourself in God. And when you find yourself, be comfortable there. Don't mm-hmm. don't you know because you know there's a sense of security which you get from God. And sometimes people will try and poke that security. Just stay there. Mm-hmm. You will see that. Uh, you live a more fulfilled and happy life. That's, that's the message you give. So, wow, beautiful. so beautiful. I love, I love ch- chase after Jesus. Yeah. Don't clout chase, yeah. chase, chase after, after, Jesus. after Jesus. The success, whatever it is that you're looking for in clout mm-hmm. will follow. And perhaps you even receive better things than what you were originally looking for in clout mm-hmm. because that's where your true fulfillment is. Mm-hmm. Really, really, really beautiful. Um, So many takeaways from this conversation, mm-hmm. but we have to, wind up and i know that there is there's a sister out there who really does not like it when i say we have to close so instead i'll say we'll be back (laughs) shout out mape who will be back but this has been really beautiful and i hope that if anything you've been encouraged to value yourself more and understand that you are precious you are um uh you were knit and put together uniquely for the purpose that god has set upon your life um one of the things that I think Shekinah mentioned mm-hmm. is um, how she was clout chasing outside of God, but in God, she started to seek something higher and found herself. There is a way that God wants to use the gifts and, and talents that you've been given to glorify him. We're not saying that put aside your gifts or put aside your talents, but filter them through Christ. Mm-hmm. Do it for Jesus. Mm-hmm. And and then you will receive the grace, the favor, the gas behind that thing that will catapult you into greater places than you could have imagined. Um, and so we really, really love you. I can see Sonemi is tweaking to say something and she's surprised that I can tell. <laughs> but thank God for the Holy Spirit. Amen. Sonemi, you have two seconds. Yes, okay. So there's a scripture in Peter. I think mm-hmm. Peter is someone always says I have given yeah. you all things that pertains to life and godliness. So yeah. it, you don't have to replicate replicate yourself or try to cloud chase because mm. you've seen that person has all these likes and whatever. Yeah. God himself has placed in you all in the things uniqueness. in you. Yeah. In your unique, uniqueness, in yeah. your abilities, in your identity to yeah. be able to do exactly what he's proposed you for. Yeah. And whatever it is that you need in life, it's right in you. Yep. Work it through. Yeah. If you need to seek mentorship, seek mentorship. Yeah. Pray and ask the Father who created you, who knew you even before you were born who yeah. knows the exact path that you need to take go to him and ask him father what do i need to do yeah and hence he's going to bring people he says in his word he's yeah. going to bring people for you Lovely. so he will do it chase yeah. jesus and he will bring the Amen. people for you yeah you know, you just inspired me and I'm going to try and match the two seconds real quick. But like Paul, Paul, you know, there's a part in, in one of the epistles where he talks about, I didn't come to you in eloquence of words. Yes. Yeah. Paul wasn't such a great speaker mm. and he sometimes would appear timid in his speech, but he was a great writer. Mm. Right. Um, Moses. struggled with um, articulating himself to the Israelites. Perhaps it was a speech impediment. Perhaps it was a language barrier. But he struggled. But God gave him grace. And he did amazing things as Moses himself. Paul, as someone who writes better than he speaks, may not have a big voice, may not have that much charisma and presence in person, did all these incredible things. And he's one of the most celebrated apostles. But there are also several other examples of people with big personalities. Mm -hmm. David had a big personality and did many great things for the Lord. And so there's place in the God you as you are quiet or loud you know you 
in a lot of english yeah. or somewhat english <laughs> you know whatever yes like god has a place for you and with god he will use your story yes. your background mm-hmm. your personality powerfully mm-hmm. um I love you guys so much. I love you, <laughs> love you too. too. Um, and I'm just going to ask that Shekaina sends us off. Thank you. Yeah. Heavenly Father, we just thank you for this time that we have had in your presence, discussing cloud chasing, zeal, mm. and many other things, Almighty Father. Heavenly Father, I bring each and every person listening to this right now who are struggling with cloud chasing, oh God, I ask that you may just touch their hearts, oh God. May you just show them that they are much better and higher than mm. whatever um, issues this cloud chasing may be causing in their lives, oh mm. God. I ask that you may bring them to a place of peace and a place of understanding, oh God. I thank you, Almighty Father. I give you glory and I give you honor. I say thank you, Almighty Father. I pray for Soneni. I pray for Chanda. I thank you for their lives. I pray for myself as well and I thank you for my life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you so much, guys, for tuning in. We love you and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. I need to pat it. But career. Or your birthday.